Hi, this is Michael with Iconicist. Today we will be doing a demonstration video uh, showing how to use the automated background removal tool in conjunction with the lasso tool to remove parts and additional parts of a frame. Uh, so I'm going to take an object. Um, I figured a ring would be a pretty good, uh, pretty good object to shoot. We have a lot of jewelry customers currently using our, our products. Um, I'm shooting in our 15 inch LED lighting studio and you can see it does a very good job of consistent lighting. Um, we're very well underexposed and uh, my next step will be, actually my first step after placing my object will be to adjust my exposure um, and I can do that through mouse clicks inside of the software since I'm working with a Canon DSLR camera. We're gonna see the changes that I make in real time. Um, I'm probably gonna shoot this just a tad darker than I normally would. Uh, because I want to just, again, I'm going to communicate a couple uh, features and, and functionality of the, the background removal features inside of the Shutterstream program. So uh, let's go ahead and crop our object now that our, our, uh, our exposure is correct. And I'll simply hit my snap button there. Uh, the other thing I probably should have mentioned is that my camera is set to manual focus mode. Uh, meaning that every single shot that I take, uh, the focal point is going to be fixed in the exact same location and that's critical uh, when when you're shooting images and using the automated background removal tool you want to ensure that all images uh, all the variables remain the same that is we're not changing our crop from shot to shot that stays the same our lighting is remaining fixed our focal point is the same and our camera settings are the same as well so I've just shot my three product images we can see one two three uh, pretty pretty good quality images, uh, again, captured in, in just seconds. Uh, my last image is going to be just a background-only image. And essentially what we're doing with this background-only image, again, not changing any variables, um, is we're going to use this to compare with each of these product images and understand, okay, what pixels were here, what pixels are in this frame versus what pixels are in this frame and we can see the the pixels that change are the actual product that are placed and using computer vision and, and image recognition we should be able to understand where the product is versus where the background is um, the one thing specifically that I wanted to communicate was a lot of people do shoot with shadows underneath their products they don't have a bottom light lighting solution like the ones that that we offer to our customers so um, again, this is where this tutorial is really going to be helpful for the uh, for the user when, when you have shadows underneath your object. So uh, let's go ahead and we're going to take our background only image. I'll select that image just down here in the thumbnail gallery. Hit the BR button and I'm going to say add this current image into the background gallery. That means it's going to be our, our new reference image. And uh, let's go ahead and select one of our images here. Uh, so we'll select that first one. and. We can see our, our threshold is quite high. Um, I'm going to drop this pretty low just because I want to come in after the fact and just start cutting out some other stuff again just to communicate. Um, we could actually probably do a really good job with this automatically. Um, again, under the, the correct lighting, the tool works wonderfully. As we can see here, it does a good job. We could add that part back in in the middle of the stone if we needed to, but uh, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to leave some product actually underneath. So. Let me just hit apply and we can see there's a couple parts that are not being cut out. And we're gonna use this in conjunction with our lasso tool. So I'll hit apply and we can see here, um, kind of a lot of frame was left back in. So my next step is to go ahead and grab this lasso tool. That's this one right here. You're gonna see the icon changes. And I'll probably view it at a little bit higher resolution. I'll say 100%. And I wanna start going ahead and cutting out my actual, just kind of underneath my object here. And we can see we're gonna Start removing all these extra little parts. And then we'll just go around here. Okay, so now all we wanna do is to get rid of this part here, we're gonna hit the apply button. After we've closed out our polygon that we drew, we're gonna cut inside the polygon and we're gonna make it alpha transparent. That means it's cutting it out onto a transparent background. I'm gonna hit apply and you can see that's done fairly quickly. Um, and the other thing I'll probably do is just do it just very quickly kind of in the back here. Um, I'll just do a real quick cutout again just to kind of communicate. We can see, okay. And I'm shooting, I'm working with a very low resolution. I set my camera to the smallest JPEG setting possible um, just to kind of keep this a little bit speedier. Anyways, we'll hit apply. Alpha transparent inside polygon again. We'll hit okay. 
So that's our image there. Um, although it shows on a white background in here, uh, this is actually a transparent background and let me just communicate that for you. So I'm just gonna call this uh, sample four dash. And I'm gonna go and save this image to, well, I guess I'm gonna save the whole batch of images, but we'll just inspect the first one here because that's the only one I really cleaned. Um, let me just choose a folder, samples folder, sure. And then I won't even resize it, we'll just hit okay. So we're gonna go and find, there's our first image, the only one we edited. Let me open this up in Photoshop just because we'll be able to communicate it a little bit better with the transparent background. Open in Photoshop and you're gonna see it is on a transparent background. So if you ever have additional parts of your frame that are left in after your background removal tool, you can manually cut those out like we've just done in this demonstration. Again, you do so using the lasso tool and when you choose whatever part you wish to cut out, when you hit apply, you're gonna choose the inside the polygon and alpha transparent option. All right, thank you.